let's just uh, go ahead and see. So the website is get bootstrap dot com. Okay, the website is get bootstrap dot com. <coughs> well, uh, now just uh, we download it. We have yesterday we have downloaded it. So all you gotta do is like download it, include it uh, using link. Uh, uh, really equal to style sheet href equal to whatever the path it, it has to be and there are several ways to install this too but we we don't uh, uh, like you know that's of no interest to us okay so here he, he even gives the basic template he says like hey this is how you gotta use the basic template but uh, you know we we don't see see this guy has given some you know even some examples here these are examples like if you want to use they are like predefined websites so he says okay you want to use it use this you can just you know copy the source code from here like like see you know he has everything over there this is built on twitter bootstrap like search even this one <laughs> this one is built, uh, built on twitter bootstrap too like you can see the buttons the thumbnails the drop downs so pretty much this there's pretty much everything even the progress bars he says and list groups panels wells so we'll see uh, one by one what exactly these terms mean like panels wells uh, when to use what and this is he says great example like see if i if i minimize this okay if i let me just close this if i minimize this you see it is responsive so it has it has uh, you know aligning itself to fit into the size like can you can see it here like as soon as i uh, decrease the size then you see this is uh, this is iPhone size so this is how it looks like in an iPhone okay so that that's how I mean you know it gives us a facility to code it to any device that that's why I like Twitter bootstrap uh, framework because it has already all the classes built in okay so see email password they have you know this uh, these things again uh, built in like if he says like hey do you want to use this yeah go ahead and you know you can use them too like there are they are also free these examples like whatever custom components he says this is a dashboard he says like if you want to have a dashboard then you know you can just download this and integrate it with php like you know uh, the custom dashboard and login page so if you want just login then you can download this too so this is a freedom we get from twitter bootstrap like we can use anything uh, what you want yeah, so again uh, that is about you know the basics how to it says get started so getting started so that's how if somebody wants to have you know templates directly yeah they just go ahead and download the templates okay now let's go ahead and see css okay this is what the css so on the right side you see uh, grid system typography code tables forms buttons so these are the stylings for the respective elements these are html elements you can see if you if you can recollect okay uh, the tables forms and buttons are a part of uh, forms okay but uh, yeah you can you can make a link as a also a button using our uh, twitter bootstrap uh, front end framework and images and helper classes let's see so helper classes are nothing but like if you want to show particular content in different colors like say he says text muted muted is gray color text primary is blue color text success is green color like such like you know if you if you want to show some information but say if there is an error show it in danger use the class text danger like such and he says contextual backgrounds like say the same thing again but this time uh, backgrounds like bg primary if you use bg primary the background will be blue and it will be white the font will be white like such you can you can also use different background uh, structures okay and carrots like carrots are nothing but whenever you see a drop down you always see this symbol over there this this particular symbol and float you don't have to write you know float left float right so if you want to use float left use this class pull left if you want to use float right use this class pull right so it's all about classes okay and uh, placements these are placements like center block will you know uh, make it uh, center and clear fix 
if you guys can remember like in float we have discussed its cousin clear like uh, what it does is clear clear will clear all the area which is uh, left over by the floating element okay so clear fix is that class which uses clear both he, he, he mentions it here also like what it exactly does and showing and hiding the content so class equal to show will show the content class equal to hidden will hide, hide the content and uh, this is of uh, no use for us uh, the screen reader i mean it's for uh, mobile things but yeah you can explore uh, and image replacement i didn't use image replacement any time so these again uh, readability classes okay so that is there uh, like here you can see typography typography is your headings like you know h1 h2 h3 h4 and if you want to use lighter versions like he says use small like you know this this particular content by the side of the headings they're all used uh, using small you guys following so i'm just explaining what exactly it has like it has it has styling for everything like if you want to style a table you can go ahead there and use those uh, table classes and apply it there like we have seen it yesterday like how do we use these table classes okay so like such you see list styling also like you know uh, ordered unordered list unstyled this is unstyled list it says list unstyled and list in line will make the list in line and description horizontal description and code code is like you know we have seen code if you want to write some code then just use you know like computer code you gotta use code and what else we have here tables we have seen tables yesterday if you want this format use class table if you want stripe rows use table class equal to table table stripe so always remember use the class what is the class this guy provides so just you uh, use it over there and table table border if you want borders on the table and hover table we have seen it yesterday like you know a color for hover table and what is table condensed and we have seen contextual classes so and let's let's go to forms this is the most important part here so forms general thing so uh, this thing here from form group okay what what it does is like you know you, you see here this email address and the form element so it groups them together that's what the form, form group uh, does then again uh, if you use form group then you have to use input uh, for the input the class to be form control you can see it here everywhere there is a form group and the input type will have a class called form control okay and you see here this uh, for input password one it's a id you can you guys can see it here it's a it's a id okay so like such you know for checkbox checkbox also there is a class called checkbox so it, it it aligns itself you know uh, to the styles of uh, twitter bootstrap if you say and you can see here uh, buttons for buttons the class is btn and we'll see uh, here let's let's just go here and you can see here buttons these are the different types of buttons so it, it depends upon the class you use like this is a default one so that's the reason it's it's it has a class btn and space btn default so this is the default button if you want to use no I, I want to use you know different color or different style then you can use primary btn primary btn success success is green color info info is blue color warning is like uh, kind of yellow uh, yellow uh, greenish I guess it's yellow greenish color and then danger is like you know it's uh, just uh, red color and if I don't want any button I want it to be uh, <coughs> you know like a link you can say btn link also and buttons have sizes too, different types of sizes like you know whatever the size you want to use you can use a smaller button larger button or extra small button so it's it's up to your choice how do you use it and coming to the images we have seen you know the images are squared rounded square and completely circle then the thumbnails that's how we use images and let's jump back